So hello, welcome everyone. Phoenix61 here with another Skull and Bones video. So this is the um, the new ship that you can get with the um, you know while progressing through the Smuggler's Pass right for this season. This is the Bark. It is a medium-sized support ship, and I think if you're kind of wondering what to use it for or why you might want it, I feel like I found the best thing, you know, what it's good at here, right? So, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll do a little bit of gameplay here, and what we're doing is we are hunting down sort of the La Peste fleet guys, so we're not going after La Peste, but if you put Plaguebringer Captain's heads in your cargo hold, I think you only need to have about 10 of them, I think is the goal there. Um, but that makes you, uh, you know, sort of much more wanted by the uh, La Peste fleet guys, right? So, as you can see, like, we just killed one, and we've got another one that spawned here right off the bat. And then if you look up at the top right corner, we do have our sort of wanted level with the La Peste fleet all the way maxed out at four, right? So it's flashing, it's giving us this warning, right? Um, and that's what you want to go for, right? And we'll, I'll show you why in a little bit here. But, like, just in general with this ship, um, I feel like it's, you know, there's there's a little bit of, like, investment in time consumption to get to this point that we're at here, right? So, when you start out, you throw some of those heads in your cargo holds. If you don't know how to get those, those are you get those by killing the smaller fleet of pestilence ships. And um, I think we see a one or two later in the video here, so I'll try and remember to call those out. But... Um, so if you don't have any of those, and then there, you do have to do missions for like the Smuggler's Pass, you know, NPC guy, where you have to like collect two of them, right? So if you've already done those and progressed through, my recommendation is saving the heads for, um, you know, throw them in your warehouse for when you want to do this activity, right? So we took him out pretty quick. But the reason this is so great is because, one, you're, you're doing this... You know, you're fighting off these guys. I mean, I get tons of these silver boxes. But look at all the raw materials and, like, um, commodities that I have. Like, this is just from doing this for a little while. Like, not very long, right? So, if you're low on silver, right? Like, you, you're going to get tons of stuff that you can sell. Um, so, you're getting higher-end sort of commodity type stuff. Um, and then, get tons of silver boxes. So much to the point where it's annoying. Um, to go in there and open them one by one, so hopefully uh, there's a fix somewhere down the line where you can open a bunch of them at once. Um, and then treasure maps too, I'm getting a ton of treasure maps, so much so that I've done plenty of treasure map hunting that I just am jettisoning, you know, I'm just deleting them now, like it's just, it's, it's too much of a time consumption here. Um, but the way we have this built, so we are using the um, the new Carnade, uh, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, cannons on both sides of the ship. And then I'm using fire bombards on the front and back, right? So the these cannons have some uh, sort of like flooding perks, and then of course fire bombards create fire, right? So the way I'm working these ships is, and this works great if you're if you have to fight multiple at a time too. But this ship here, you can see he's flooding and on fire, right? So he's taking both forms of damage over time at the same time here, right? Like. These ships are the worst when it comes to healing and like bulkiness, right? They're the toughest sort of non-boss ships in the game, I would say right now. Um, they're quite a bit more difficult than your standard rogues as well. And we run into some rogues later too, and so I'll kind of show you that comparison. But for the most part, once you get used to these guys, they're not bad, they're just a little time consuming to kill, right? So this is definitely way easier to do in a group, but I am not in a group as you can see. So I got my one level all the way up it just takes time right load up your cargo hold with 10 or more heads and then just go a hunting right it, it takes time be patient but here we are in the smuggler's pass and i think it's a little kind of sorry that i've already completed it even though we're only a few weeks into the season right so i feel like there needs to be something more like you know be able to earn something more after beating you know after getting all 90 levels but here is the bark so right so you get this ship once you've um got 45 once you've spent 45 total um you know smugglers tokens or whatever right so it doesn't matter what tree you put them in there's three different trees or whatever you want to call these right but the way i prioritize it is i would do this one first the ship master the bottom one first up to level 20 
because then you get the Wailing Ward armor piece. This is probably the most important. If you're if you're still progressing through a Smuggler's Pass and you don't have this yet, I would say stop what you're doing and, and work on this tech tree. Because you can see over on the right, this gives you um, a huge resistance to the like poison or toxic um, attacks that some of the Lepest guys have. So Lepest himself does a ton of that. And then we're going to see as we... Um, you know, do some of this Lepest fleet hunting, um, you'll see guys that have some of those attacks as well. The second thing I would probably do, and this not as important, but the top tree has the Lepest schematic furniture blueprint. Um, not as big of a deal, but this is the, the way I did it. I went for this one next um, because this reveals weak points on the fleet of pestilent ships, so that's across the board. But then also, you know, on fleet of pestilent ships, but then also increases the damage to weak points on enemy ships by 10%. Now that's, I think that's for any ship, not just the pest ship. So that's kind of a big one there too. But to get the cannons, you know, like this, it's the Gunner Master Tree. There's nothing sort of special along the way on this one. You really just have to do the grind, right? There's cosmetics and pieces of eight and gold, like whatever. Um, but you got to get all the way to 30 to get the Carronades cannons, right? And it's not a blueprint. They just give you two, right? So you're you're stuck with two. You can't make more of these, right? So careful not to delete them, right? Or sell them, right? Um, and then, yes, you will have to go to... Once you unlock the ship blueprint, you will have to go to the ship, right? To build it. And it costs materials just like any other ship. So you can see the material list for this ship over on the right. I have plenty of these, but you may not. Um, I play this game too much already, right? So, <laughs> um, and then we'll go into the the loadout that I've specifically chosen. I think there's some places, you know, you can mix and match some things. And of course, you can do this without this ship. Like, you know, you can do this same fleet of pestilence hunting like we're doing here, which will help you unlock smugglers tokens, right? But this I feel like is just the best ship for this particular activity at this time, right? So what's great about this ship is you can see over on the right is it basically automatically heals you, right? Just a little bit over time and it even um, heals your severe damage too over time so that, you know, if you get that really annoying red bar health, right? So if you're sick of that, you're going to want this ship, right? Because so it's just, it's always getting rid of severe damage and always healing your hull a little bit at a time, right? So um, you'll still have to use repair kits occasionally, but like the reason that I think this ship works so well for this activity is because you're out there for a good chunk of time and you don't want to like have to go back and like dock to like repair your ship and if you're out there a lot and you're not using up all your repair kits while doing this too, you're not just constantly using repair kits. You can get away for the most part without using repair kits at all almost, right? So fire bombards in the front and back. Um, if you don't have the threes, you know, put on the twos, right? What the best ones you can get. And again, this is, this is me. But the reason I'm doing fire bombards is because I'm able to then trigger both types of status effects on ships, right? Flooding and um, a blaze and fire, right? So here's the new um, cannons. So I did do a video on these um, separately. So if you're interested in that, go look for that. But the carronades, right? So you only get two. They Their uniqueness is they trigger flooding and then they also trigger some severe damage on ships when they have the flooded effect, right? So, you know, when you're, if you don't have those status effect symbols above ships when you're shooting them, that's buried in the settings. Go look for that. Highly recommend, right? But basically when you fill the bar uh, for flooding or a blaze, it'll then turn into like a, a circle and then the, cir the outside of it is kind of how long they're going to flood or be a blaze for, right? This is just to compare the basilics. These are another good option for um, cannons and then culvern fives this is just i'm just kind of showing how these carronades compare to these other two that i think are kind of the the closer choice you know the comparable choice and the reason i'm going cannons on the side of the ship is you can see it says gun ports seven when we cycle through here right so what that means is on the top deck there's three spots and on the lower deck there's four spots right so if you're only doing top deck weapons you'll only have three weapons on the side, right? So that's why I went with cannons for this ship because it doesn't have four like some of the other DPS variant medium ships, right? And then I'm pairing it with the Leopold 
Um, you could use the Le Flu, right? However you say this. But the Fleet of Pestilence ships, I don't think, take damage from the poison status effect. At least it didn't seem that way for me. Um, so that's kind of a little bit of a wasted perk if you were using this one, right? So that's why I went with the Leopold, because he triggers flooding, right? So that's kind of the, the trade-off there. But I think if you were doing some other activities, like if you were, you know, for like rogues, that poison works really great on rogues, right? So, um, you know, whatever you're, you're doing, you'll have to mix it up a little bit here, but right... And then we're using the Wailing Ward, so that's the, the one you get from the Smuggler's Pass that I said to do first, right? Because this significantly improves your defense against that toxic, um, you know, sort of uh, attack that some of those Fleet of Pestilence guys have, right? So, highly, highly recommend. You could do, you know, there's other choices out there if you don't have that yet. Um, so, you know, you do you. Black Prince is always a good option. You can get that from the Bartender by the Helm stuff, right? Um, and then Wraithful War, that is also a new item you can buy from the Bartender by the Helm, right? So, um, you know, you do you, pick what you want. Um, but here's how I've laid out furniture. I think furniture is kind of, you know, where you really want to focus on your build and what you're doing with the ship. Munitions Mixer, so increases durations of flooded and ablaze effects. So see where we're going here, right? <laughs> and then um, increases, you know, Bombard works, increases elements of damage multiplier of Bombards. Right, so more fire, right? See where we're going with this. Um, and then, yeah, next one over, Culvern works. Increase elemental damage multiplier of the cannons, basically, right? So 19% more there. Increased duration of flooded effect on enemy ships by 10%. So that's unique because, um, you know, we're as that flood lasts longer, when we're using our cannons, we're going to be able to trigger more and more we're gonna have more time to trigger severe damage right so this would probably be you know this might be a decent pvp build as well right and then i went with the double planked hull just to give us a little bit of extra health just because you know we're kind of we're kind of out there and it's a little bit of a grind right so like you know having more health is going to help but like you know there's other options in here right rigging stations good too um you know recovers one percent health per second that is also at the helm bartender check right um and then you know if you're doing a you know, a crew attack build, scrapper station's good, right? Um, and then, yeah, here is the Lapotens schematics furniture. That's probably another good option for your, your fifth slot, I would say, you know? So maybe you could do this one over the extra health because that will kind of help you with those ships and get you more, um, you know, weak point damage, right? Um, and then flag painting station. So this increases your threat generation, right? So if you're getting frustrated with how long it's taking to get your wanted level up, um, you could try this. It is only, you know, 5% more, right? But um, otherwise it's just, yeah, it's just a matter of being patient. I was doing it without this. It just takes a little bit of time, right? And then of course this is all easier with somebody else too, right? But here is what you wanna see. So see we have a fleet of pestilence ship and he's got the like green flare smoke thing at the top of his ship. So these ships, um, you know, once you get your one level up to five, and you can see they do have poison attack, right? So that's why the hull uh, armor piece is important here. Um, but these guys have a, they, these guys will drop, um, they have a chance to drop uh, La Pest crates, right? La Pest um, treasure chests, right? So you can get La Pest rewards without having to fight La Pest, right? So if you're struggling to, to beat La Pest, I mean, I always recommend just going and, and checking him to see if other people are fighting him. But if you're running in a situation where like, I just can't beat him solo, nobody is ever fighting him when you're on, right? This is another way to do it, right? So this is gonna get you tons of XP, tons of materials. Plus, once you get your, your wanted level up, you're gonna have these guys spawning occasionally. And they're not any harder to kill. You know, as you can see, he went down pretty quick. They're not any harder to kill than the other La Pest fleet ships, right? So we'll go over and make sure you get, you know, make sure you pick up what he drops. Because, yeah, you can see we got a La Pest slacker, right? So we'll go in and open it up. I don't think I got any unique La Pest stuff from this drop. I had been doing this too, though. So I'm not sure if it has a, you know, a scenario where if you already have the rewards, you can't get them again. You know, like, I don't know if that's a thing, but yeah, I didn't get any unique La Pest stuff, but you can see we're getting other good materials from opening these, right? And then, of course, getting more treasure maps and then, um, you know, mysterious chests and other other chests as well. 
um, which are always have decent materials in them too, right? So, and then these, see this little ship right out in front of us? Um, he is one that you want to kill for getting more Plague Bringer heads, right? Um, but I just wanted to skip to this because we ran into another fleet of Pestilence ship that had the green smoke on top, right? So these are the guys you want to look for. Just keep fighting until you find and run into these guys, right? So we'll take him out here. And then, yeah, you get, so yeah, they just, they have a ton of, you know, they use this, the poison attack, right? So that's why the whole piece is super, super important. And then, yeah, we're running into some uh, rogues out here too that we end up just dealing with just because they're here. Um, so you can see with this build, you know, they're going down quick, right? So the, especially rogues, right? Um, so we'll take them out just because they're kind of in the way. But yeah, as you can see, like we're, like health-wise, we're doing fine. Like we, it's pretty rare that I have to use a heal. Now I do occasionally do it when we get really low and we get teamed up on by like a lot of ships like this, right? So we've got a couple of rogues, we got one of these plague bringer captain head dudes, right? And so, um, you know, we just take a lot all at once. But when they're coming in at you like one at a time, I'm never using a heal at all, right? So just let your, let the ship do its thing, you know, let it heal automatically. And then, yeah, I highly recommend, especially when you're fighting multiple of these guys, to trigger flood and then trigger fire. And then you can even, you know, if you get another one, you know, if you're fighting two of them, whichever one doesn't have flood and fire on it, right, go and and create floods and fires on it, right? And then let that damage over time kind of do its thing while you go and deal with the other enemy, right? So you can definitely multitask here. And then, yeah, when we killed that ship, you could see we picked up another um, fleet of Pestilence Captain Head, right? So I don't know if, you know, after 10, if it makes makes it any easier. I think I got like 30 of them. I got like put like 20 in my cargo hold just to see if it helped and it didn't really seem like it did, right? So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and then the other thing too to keep in mind, I was out here doing this for so long, <clears throat> trying to just get, you know, some of these guys to spawn and then getting up to that wanted level too took quite a while. Yeah, we're just dumping some of these. We get so many treasure maps here. And then, yeah, another Lapest Locker. Yeah, we're getting lots of helm materials, too. Uh, mysterious Chest, that usually has helm materials in it. And then Treasure Chest, more helm materials, right? And then lots of Silver Chests, so much so that I got annoyed with trying to open all of these, right? So another good way to farm silver, I would say, right? <laughs> but um, load up with ammo. I was doing that for, you know, it took a while to get my... Um, my wanted level up to that fourth level especially by myself and i actually like ran out of ammo i ran out of cannonballs right so i loaded up this time <laughs> going back out i loaded up more um plague bearer heads and then ten thousand cannonballs because I, <laughs> I ran out because so i was out for quite a while but absolutely you could do this completely by yourself right if you if you want to so if you want some lapest rewards and you're struggling to to kill La Pest or find people to fight La Pest with. Like, this is definitely a way to go. Um, and then I was trying to do it by St. Anne or, you know, in that other area that I was, um, kind of out there where the ghost ship spawns, right? To Because then, you know, sometimes some other players will run into you just nonchalantly and, and hang out and help you kill them for a while, too. Um, so that's a good way to, to join people. But thank you guys so much for watching all the way through. Please do follow the channel. Like the video if you did like it. And we'll see you next time, right? <laughs>